Hi friends, this is Mohammed Jibran and welcome to our Linux tutorials. In the previous videos, we have downloaded and installed the Linux distribution Ubuntu. And now from this video, we will be seeing how to interact with your new operating system. If you have not seen the previous two videos, I would suggest you please go and watch those videos so that we can move forward. So first of all, let me tell you what actually is VMware Workstation. VMware Workstation will provide one virtual layer or a layer over your existing operating system which is running on your computer. When you install any other operating system in VMware Workstation, what happens is it will provide one uh, virtual environment for the operating system in which this operating system will feel that he is interacting with the actual hardware of the computer but actually it does not happen it is the vmware which is making uh, your operating system feel that he is interacting with the, uh, the actual hardware but it is not so it virtualizes everything it virtualizes your hard drive your processor your uh, cd drive everything so your operating system feels that he is the only owner of all this hardware running on this physical machine but you can run multiple machines as you can see i have windows xp one centos one kali linux you can have multiple os's running simultaneously at the same time so this is the beauty of using a virtual box or workstation like this so now let us go back to our ubuntu let us log in with our credentials and then we'll say start x sorry about that just got a message fine so let us start the machine sometimes it takes a while to start your machine and now we can go full screen the first problem you will see that is that your screen is not completely covered by the Ubuntu screen which you expect it to do. So what you can do is you can go and search for terminal and it will give you that terminal. What I have done is I have just dragged and dropped it to my menu over here so that I can access it easily. You can also do that. Now once you have your terminal, you need to type one command which says xrand r. Okay, this will give you a list of resolutions which you can set for your uh, screen accordingly. I will be going for uh, xrand r minus s for setting up the resolution. I will select this one for my system and now this com uh, fulfills my complete screen, this covers my complete screen. The next command, very important command, is the clear command. If you say clear, it will clear up your terminal. But if you scroll up, you can see the previous commands which you just, just typed. And one more thing, if you press the up arrow key, the previous commands which you typed will appear. You don't need to type the commands again and again. So if you want to type clear again, you can do this. You just have to type clear to clear your shell so now what is this shell actually what this rectangle over here is known as a shell this shell is uh, you can cons you can take it as a mode of communication between the user and the operating system this is where you type in commands and you let your operating system know what you want to do Whatever you type here goes into your operating system. Operating system reads what you want to do and he performs that. When you are on a distribution, desktop distribution like Ubuntu, you can have all this uh, fancy icons. You can go to your computer. You can see how your folders are arranged, how the files are arranged. But when you are an actual Linux server you will not see any graphical interface like this 
you will see only command line interface like this where you have just uh, a blinking thing you need to type in commands and this stuff goes on so in our upcoming videos we, we will be seeing some of the more commands for uh, uh, linux operating system so till then thanks for watching the video and hope you liked it